just say I love this game in German. Um, I don't know how you say that in German. It comes out something like uh, Tomatensuppe ist gefährlich. That's my closest uh, approximation of it. I mean, if you have nothing else to do, you can definitely learn a language to some extent. I mean, depends on how you define learning, to what degree of mastering a language um, you want to learn it. Well, uh, see you, bullet biker. Maybe that's because German isn't even a harsh language. That's maybe just your completely inaccurate understanding of it. No offense. Maybe people have been listening, have been lying to you about the harshness of certain languages. So, uh, I didn't speak a word of Spanish when I was in Spain, and Spanish sounds fun though, like, the only Spanish word I, like, learned while I was in Spain was <laughs> aquí, which, if I'm not mistaken, means here. That's the only word I heard, like, kind of regularly, because the person I was there with spoke some Spanish. Which is kind of useful, I guess. Hey, fine lines. I don't think German has uh, those things. I mean, I think that's just a cliche that's inaccurate. Spanish I used was uh, to order cake. Well, the only Spanish I heard was being used to order cake. So I can if I can confirm it's not only for sex.
is your uh, native language then, one with very sharp intonations. I mean that sounds like, I don't know, Icelandic? I mean, apparently Vietnamese has a lot of French influences. I mean, I didn't order cake in Spanish. <laughs> the uh, guy I was with did, so I just ate the cake. And all I really learned from being in Spain in terms of speaking Spanish was that aquí means here, is that even correct? Um, because like it seemed to me at first that it would mean like who but apparently it means here I mean I learned one word isn't that amazing? I see. I mean, this is the uh, semi invisible school. Like, we seems kind of spooky. I mean, I'm glad that my little excursion on uh, which Spanish words I learned um, <laughs> made Chad try to teach me other Spanish, Spanish words. I am afraid though I'll <laughs> probably forget them all again. Cypher was always Cypher, good to know. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, Spanish is spoken in uh, surprisingly many places around the world. Not just in Spain, but in uh, Northern America, Southern America, and some other places. Whereas German is really only spoken in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, and maybe Liechtenstein. 
nobody cares about that country. Yeah, but parts of Belgium, that's like, <laughs> I don't know. I have actually been to Belgium since last time which I streamed, like since 2016 or something. So, uh, I have set foot into this uh, spooky country. The same actually applies to France. Even though when I was there it wasn't burning so much. I've only been to Paris, I'm afraid. And I stayed at a tiny hotel, like, it seems, I mean, somebody told me that hotel rooms in Paris are, like, extremely tiny, and it seemed like they were not wrong. Well, I didn't want to go there, but I was kind of invited to join someone on their Paris trip. So I thought, why not go there? Matron. That is probably not how you say it. I can try like matron, matrona. I mean, apparently it, it comes from Latin, so you probably just dropped the A at some point when it became an English word. zero queen well I'm not even I prefer not to be known by the prefix of this spooky name I have but more of by the suffix so uh, you can just ignore the zero part of my name and go straight to the end which leaves kindness at least that's how I think of my name and how it's 
sad. Kinos. Yeah, that's what I've heard people also say, but I don't think of it myself like that. No, I haven't really cared to change my name, I mean, I could do that, but that would be caring too much. I, uh, I don't care enough to care about changing my name. Hey, Super Shaker. of F8 is? You mean like what the game is trying to tell you? Uh, it's telling you that you shouldn't overdose on drugs because it causes memory loss. Even though if you take drugs with your friends together it's not so bad because then you can like try to get a recollection of what happened if you try really hard together. Just don't take drugs alone. That is basically F 8s well for you. <laughs> um, open random plus, like, are you fucking serious? Like, this is... No, you don't do this. I mean, I could theoretically win this, but... Isn't open random plus a standard here? Yeah. Open, maybe not, but that... I mean, open is like the only thing that makes it like somewhat possible, but even then it's stupid. I mean, um, I mean, it seems like I played in a kind of stupid way because it seems like, um, I mean, I could win this card, like the Elden Oil, if I do this. But maybe there is like an open. Well, I can already see it. There is an open in this position with the first Etocolon. 11 11. Um, we're not having that. But then there's like. There is an open everywhere we speak. Like. <laughs> I don't like that. Is open always with a combo? Like, if she gets the open, does she have a combo? I don't know these things. I'm just gonna find out. Oh, there's a combo. Where's the reset button? I mean, I saved right before I did this, so it's not too bad. Yeah, you're not... Dude, you don't even believe this is reality. Uh, no, thank you.
I mean, I never played an MMORPG, and I think of myself as fairly addictive, so maybe that's for the better. Even though I've tried alcohol, alcohol uh, didn't kill me, even though it still tastes like, uh, as I said earlier, I think alcohol mostly just tastes like washing detergent or maybe laundry products. There is always a very uh, chemical aftertaste to it. This is my first playthrough of uh, the mods, not FF8 though. <laughs> Dude, I've tried like all kinds of things. It's probably an acquired taste. I mean, at some point you might not um, notice the uh, chemical aftertaste anymore, you might even appreciate it, but unless you get to that point, it will probably always taste like I said it tastes. You're the only beer fiends? Well... I mean, people have tried to get me into alcohol with like all kinds of weird drink drinks. I've tried beer, I've tried wine, I've tried... Just everything and it just always tastes terrible, no offense. All I want to do here is win the uh, selfie card. I'm not sure if that's really realistic with these shitty rules, but we'll see. <laughs> I mean, I don't really uh, care about it, so I gave up on it. I also don't think being drunk is a uh, too great experience. I know you can abandon rules, you can abolish rules. I am aware of that. But that takes some effort. Open is just that you get to see the other cards, the uh, computer's cards, the uh, opponent's cards. If open is not an active rule, then uh, you don't get to see the cards that the other player still has to play. You get to see like the, uh, the middle part, but you don't get to see the other cards they still have in their hands. So it gives you a disadvantage, and it only affects you, because obviously the uh, computer is not affected by that. It's like. Maybe they, maybe they, uh, they say they are not, but it doesn't work like that. I mean, it's not that the math is hard, it's just that you have to consider every possibility, which is just time-consuming. 
it's not difficult, just it's very exhausting. Like, if I spend 1400 hours on this, I can also win, but I prefer to do other things. I mean, I get, like, actually, like, non-shitty cards, but also a plus, so this doesn't mean anything, just saying. So one example, I should not I should not play Le Leviathan there because then she can get plus in that position with the fung with the uh, Gizzard card. So that's a no no. Um, I mean, I feel like what I should do is just try to not have plus ever be active. Maybe then I can play. Turn to put top right. Why would that be safest though? I mean then I cannot win. I mean, are you saying I have to win stuff later? I mean what I would to is play turtle points there, but I'm not sure. How can Carbuncle flip, flip selfie with, with plus maybe? So I'm not sure uh, if this is what I should be doing, like should I play... Uh, I mean that would be the worst possible combination, Leviathan there, because then she can actually get a plus with the Gizzard in that position. If you look at the, the numbers, that will add up to 8. So this is something I should specifically not do. At least short term wise it would be terrible. I can't really say if it would be uh, any better long term, but... I mean, I don't even know why... I like... <laughs> what could I possibly lose? I mean, now she has that no longer, but then again, then again, never mind. Now this is tricky. You have to consider all the possible combinations. Um, You would form a. Um, which one would that. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. I 
mean this could work I guess there's fewer possibilities to consider maybe I mean he only gets one more turn I just need to make sure that one turn is plus three As I said, if you spend enough time and play very, very, very slowly, then uh, you can kind of control it, but... I mean, it works for like one or two games, but if you had to like play 20 games with this on, then that would be terrible. I would not like that. Also, apparently you cannot cross this path. It doesn't really make any sense, but... It's just to make sure you can't go to Estus early. Maki makes. I can try that. Uh, Maki Marcus. Is that what you're trying to say? I see. I can remember that. So isn't there a chocobo frost somewhere here? Can't you actually go to uh, the chocobo paradise now? Maybe? Should try that. Monkey donkey in Hungarian. Well, that's very interesting. Doesn't something like monkey donkey also mean something like... Isn't there a term in Japanese for like idiot that kind of means like literally monkey donkey or something like that?
why haven't I tried that yet? Because I was trying to hold off on that. Because I would... I feel like if I tried that, if I started doing that, I wouldn't know where to stop and I'd probably just abuse it too much, so... I try to just, as far as, as uh, long as I can, I will try to uh, do without Chocobo Worlds. Also, where even is this Chocobo place thing? I'm missing one Chocobo Frost, really? That's stupid. Which one even is that? Where on the map is that forest? Where would I have to put my dirty uh, gloved finger to find that forest? Now I've been by the one in Shumi Village, the one in Trabia. Um, I've been in this one by the orphanage. I've been in this one. Are there any ones on this continent? I don't think so. I think I've been in two in this continent. And if there's two in Kentra. Kentra, then I've been in this one, and actually, there's th I know which one I'm missing. Actually, never mind. There was three in Kentra, but I've only been to two of them. At least I'm getting paid for this. I know I'm missing the one that I uh, got stuck the uh, Ragnarok in the forest once. That's the one I haven't been to. It must be somewhere here by the desert, I think, right? Um, I can't actually trigger the Balam fight yet because I have not been to the orphanage. I 
I have not been to this one, I think. Yeah, I have not been to this one. Also, I don't remember the order in which you have to do this. Chocobo throws are just kind of annoying. Um, because they're like a mini game, but nobody really knows how to do them. So you basically just use a guide, which I do not have right now. But it feels like I went here, and then I went somewhere else. Like, I think there was another position. Somewhere here. <laughs> and now there's like another one. Maybe here. And the only good thing is that the rewards for this and this mod have been improved, so you get slightly less hot garbage. Um, all chocobos can traverse the garbage. And hey Dahlia, thank you. I just need to find my way back. I don't quite remember where I came from. There was a beach somewhere, right? Actually, to the west. <laughs> I mean, I must have gotten here somewhere, somehow. I would prefer to just take the exact same exact same road backwards.
FFA chocobos can traverse shallow, shallow waters. In FF7 and 9 you need special colored ones for that though. So now you complete this side quest and get some random stuff probably as well. I think normally you get the Chikobo cards. And you get this musical <laughs> dance performance. Oh, I could also go back to Bulamp and win the Pandemona card, right? turn these cards into something useful. <laughs> An influence on Instagram? Isn't that something uh, prestigious and worthwhile and important and stuff? Oh, just Gissel Greens, those are kind of useless. Isn't Tamasa's soul the item that teaches... no. That used to be Samantha souls, right? The Christus card normally gave you Samantha souls, not Tamatha souls. Actually, I'm just gonna see. 
I will save now and then do some modding or card refining and probably reload my save though. I would just like to know what these things do. This is garbage. It seems like I really only got garbage. Ah yeah, where's the reset button? I mean, I don't know if the item Holy War even still is in this, in this mod, but Gilgamesh doesn't give you any. Normally Gilgamesh's card refines into 10 Holy Wars, which is not what it refines in this mod into. Noah's Invincible Moon is not Invincible Moon, it is actually Awakening Moon, which just heals your party members. And I should probably take Renoa with me anyway, so that she can learn her dog things. Her dog tricks. However, um, Selfie's Limit breaks slots. The uh, four unique spells to that um, Limit Break have also been changed. And one of them is actually called Wall now, which normally was something else. And one of those things gives you invincibility. These are the four spells now, there's no more the end. This is basically a uh, full cure as it used to be, but plus Asuna. This is basically the original wall, this is now basically Winoa's Invincible Moon, and this is Ultima plus Bad Breath. Maybe like a very strong Ultima and a very potent Bad Breath. I mean, one of the things they wanted to make sure is, or they they tried to implement, is making magic fast, magic making magic more useful. So summons are stronger, and they also come with status effects. Like if it actually casts the if it summon when you use it, it also inflicts vitality zero to enemies that are susceptible to it, which makes them uh, more useful. And they have just been made stronger, so the attack in itself deals more damage. Um, all of lim all of um, Quista's limit breaks are able to break the damage limit without any restrictions. But you yourself can only have like not every attack can break the damage limit by itself. Um, there's only a few attacks in the game that are allowed to do so.
Hey Pete. I am good. And I liked your little, uh, nice little uh, do it yourself smoothie production tutorial. Uh, no, mostly because I do not have berries or a blender, so I can't try it out myself yet. I mean, I don't have frozen berries, but I have uh, some fresh fruit. Um, not berries, though. Can you use watermelon or maybe a mango to make a smoothie? Because if that's the case, I could try. Hey Dahlia, thank you. So I think I can do the second part of the uh, Shumi Village side quest now, right? Now in the original game, this is a Ultima draw point, but in this mod, it's only Quake.
Well, some things in life, if you do them often enough, or if they have large enough an impact, you do not forget them ever again. One of these things is how to sing in a very, very inappropriate key, very inappropriate songs to an audience. That's probably because most elevators are not large enough to have seats. Hey, Jekyllstein. Essentially, that's a list of things this mod does. In short, it's a um, gameplay rebalance slash hardcore mods. That's not what it does. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could try some more card games here if you want me to. Provided the worlds are not too shitty, which I'm not sure. Um, I can't really say if... I mean, I guess if it says in the, in the description, then it does so, but... I haven't really noticed any of that. I mean, first of all, I'm not really running this as in speedrunning it. I am just playing through it, but it is more like 100%. I mean, if you play a mod, you should always do it 100%, because otherwise you're missing out on content. I mean, it's like if you're buying a box of cereal, and you only eat half of it, and you just use the other half to, uh, I don't know, feed pigeons. You're not really getting your money worth of cereal, are you? This is terrible. Like, these rules don't rule. Like, plus and random is not good.
Ah yes, FF9 has that as well. It's funny how uh, AI is used for these things. I mean, who would have thought that that is one of the uh, areas where AI is being used? <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if people who uh, wondered about the meaning of AI like 20 years ago came up with this, or would have come up with this. Um, I haven't fought any new bosses yet, but I've fought a new, a couple of new encounters, like fixed encounters, they were like mini bosses. Um, Stepmine is a ability that comes with this mod. It deals more damage the more steps you've taken.
Um, I could probably do that, yes. Like, I uh, think that would not be a bad idea. Um, in this mod you can draw more than 9. Normally in the game, in the battle you can only draw up to 9 from a spell. Um, but in this mod it's unlimited. I could potentially draw up to 100 of one spell in one cast. I actually kind of want to get more life spells here. I mean, it's probably magic because of uh, that makes the, the uh, cape move so much. I mean, it might also be magic that makes the uh, skeleton live. So I'm sure the uh, cape flowing part requires less magic than the uh, 
inanimate skeleton being a life part. Seems like they don't have life. <laughs> I might enjoy speedrunning FF14, is that some kind of spooky joke? How does one in how does one even let speed one ever fourteen? I mean, no progression is not really progression, is it? So I'm just trying to get some more life spells, but it seems like the enemies I encounter, they don't have the ability to draw.
mean, Stepmine is kind of good because it's an attack that cannot miss. It targets all enemies and it ignores defense. So I think it's not that bad actually. And it just continuously gets stronger. I mean, it becomes most more powerful the more steps you take. Also, is that skeleton wearing Ark boots? Why is it wearing boots at all? Like, why would a skeleton have to wear shoes? I haven't encountered this enemy at all yet, so I wonder what it has. Anything useful? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, basically every spell in the game has like a draw difficulty. Essentially the more powerful the spell, the harder it is to draw. So like Ultima and Aura are very hard to draw, so you get fewer copies of them if you draw them successfully. It doesn't mean where you draw them from, just the enemy, uh, just the uh, spell itself matters.
How much HP does this thing have? This took a little while. So I kind of just want to get more life spells. I don't really want to fight any more monsters. I think the life spell should be better than uh, zombie, or at least I was told so, for HP, and it seems so.
so far I quite like this mod. It uh, makes the game more challenging and adds a few interesting uh, twists but also some uh, issues were resolved, like how you could only draw up to 9 spells in a battle, which made the game kind of more annoying. And now with these fixes, it's actually more enjoyable to play, I would say. So what I actually wanted to do is I wanted to go to the uh, Cacto Islands and just grind some more AP for Pandemona. Yeah, I like that too.
Um, that's what it seems like. I can do another C test. What exactly are elemental changes?
I mean, in some countries, uh, you're actually paid for how you do in tests. I think in some European countries, there is uh, a monetary incentive to do to do well on tests. Like that's actually a thing in some countries, but not everywhere. You could also use limit breaks, but generally speaking, yes, step mine is probably uh, better because you don't have to cycle through the menus. And Urban's limit breaks use up ammunition, so step mine is basically free. I mean, physical and normal attacks are an issue because the uh, cactus have such a high evasion rate that they would probably just miss. So you want to use something like step mine, which cannot miss, or limit breaks, which also cannot miss. job is basically uh, like a soldier, mercenary. I mean that involves some travel, but some jobs in the real world also involve traveling. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some kind of committee which would be in charge of paying uh, the, the seats. Like, I don't think Squall can just decide for himself how much he's getting paid. There's probably some kind of organization that is committed to uh, voting on the seat payments and stuff. I mean, maybe he's wearing that small children's size jacket because he thinks it's stylish.
Wambo. Wainbo Viking. I don't really see the connection between cactus farming and eating green vegetables. I mean, they're both green, but that's about it. another C test I can take. Ah, uh, yes, I would recommend this mod. It's quite good.
I don't know what this question means, like... Are they asking me if the uh, damage from Project is getting lowered? Is like getting less lowered every time Project is being used? Basically like a shield that's getting weaker with every time? Like, I don't understand the question. Hey, Punky. One of these answers I have to change, I'm just not sure which one. Are you sure it's this? I mean, I can try, but I'm pretty sure SNL is cure slow. I don't think the uh, C test questions were affected at all. I think the questions just basically ask you for the uh, original game. I mean, I'm sure modders could do that, but generally they don't do that. Because it seems like a fairly trivial and, like, you might not even try out that section of the game, so... Uh no, I don't think the amount of money you get has changed.
I mean, in the original game, you don't really have to do anything but just attack. It's not like Epic 8 is by itself a very hard game. I mean, you can say the same about FF7. And look, I can finally learn and carve. Only took like forever. It's not Agnon though, but I guess it's better than nothing. Another C test I can take. <laughs> I mean, I don't even like what kind of question is that? Like, is this supposed to be funny or something? Like, I don't understand this question. Like, what is the point of this? <laughs> I mean, this wasn't even funny, like, I can see how they tried, but... <sighs> they failed quite miserably. Um, is there a lore written somewhere, you mean for the game FF8? Um, I am not quite sure. You mean like just a summary of the plot?
and you wouldn't really see the HI play often because normally the characters just run, just run away and even if they stay in the battle they can use other attacks than 1000 needles so it's quite weird to even see that attack Why do you even get struck first battles with the characters? Again, why am I getting so many struck first and back attacks? Maybe the game is telling me you should play more triple triads. Joanito, how are you? I just got an item called Jet Engine. Well, wow. is that where? Maybe not that where.
I mean, it's a hardcore mod, so I rebalance mods, but it's not that hard. Um, there are new spells, yes, and there are new fixed encounters. I haven't seen any, any new bosses yet, but maybe there are some later. It's a fairly comprehensive game, uh, rebalance and overhaul. I mean, for this portion of the game, Stepmine really is quite OP.
Also, I'll be back in a minute or two. I need to grab some fruits.